so these are um, my mother's present. They're the Bailey Tall Uggs. And I got them on eBay for $40, so they're actually in really good condition. Like all of the wool inside is totally fine, but they have some water staining and dirt on them. So we're gonna try and clean them off and use some waterproofing spray to make them more usable. So I'll show you guys while I do that. So I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but there is some like water damage to the tops of the boots, which I won't be able to get out. And then there is some staining on the toes. So the toes we're gonna try and clean. And then we have a waterproofing spray right here. I wanted to get the actual Uggs brand spray, but I couldn't find it. So this is what we got. So I've stolen a toothbrush to do the first, like the brushing. <laughs> and so we're gonna do that for a minute. We're gonna brush off everything. And then we'll get the cleaner out and we will do the cleaning part. So this one has like, I think like an ink stain on it. It's almost like a square, like something got set on it that had ink on it. So I'm hoping I can get at least a little bit of that out. But overall, these shoes are in really good condition. Definitely worth $40 since this pair is like 180 new or something. I have already checked for staining. I checked it the other day. So this doesn't stain the leather as far as I can tell. But since we're cleaning the whole thing, if it does stain it, it's all gonna be stained with the same color. You just spray like a tiny bit on there, not a lot. Uh, so I don't know how well, that's actually too much. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Oh. Yeah. So that's pretty good. What, Lilith? The spray is discoloring the heels a little bit, but um, the rest of the shoe is fine. It's like two different kinds of leather. The heel is like a hard leather while the rest of it is a soft one. Hey everybody, it's Christmas Eve Eve. We have got everything we ordered except there's one for Kayla's stocking that I haven't got yet because I somehow put the wrong address on the thing. So I think it got sent back. Um, I don't know how I put the wrong address on. I double check that because I'm putting in our address for here, our PO box, and I've never used it before. So I double checked it. So I don't know how I ended up with the wrong address. If I like backtracked and I don't know. I don't know. Happy Christmas Eve! It's like 6.30 in the morning. I look rough. I did not sleep last night. I um, I went to bed. At, I fell asleep at about 7 o'clock. Woke up at 10 o'clock. Stayed awake until 4 o'clock. Woke up again at 5 o'clock and have been awake since. Our kid is still sleeping, but we are um, going to town today. We've got to do a couple things. So are you ready for Christmas? It's supposed to be 75 degrees today. Yeah, we gotta get some roller skates. I'm from Montana and I only remember one time when I was like maybe 15, 14, something like that. We had one Christmas that was probably, it felt super warm, but it was probably like 60 degrees or something. Um, but it felt super warm and there was no snow and we were out playing like remote control cars out in the outside and that's like the only time I remember not having a snow and I don't know if she's ever had one that's an Australian Christmas. I've never in my memory I've never we've never had a Christmas that it didn't snow like even when it was like unusually warm that year or there wasn't snow in the forecast or whatever it always snowed the day before Christmas or on Christmas so like yes. even when we lived in Tennessee. So this will be our first warm Christmas it doesn't feel like Christmas at all. We gotta see what the Australians do. We're gonna open a present for Christmas Eve. It's a tradition. Um, it's a tradition. We usually open presents from each other on Christmas Eve and then Santa comes and brings, even though my kids are all adults, I still get them Santa presents. Um, Santa will come and bring the rest of the presents, but we're not doing that today because this is all we've got. So we're just going to open one today. Well, when we were kids, the presents from each other had to be made by each other. Like you had to make them. And so it was something you handmade. And then the presents from Santa were like the cool presents. Like yeah, the, that we bought. Like the, like, I think we got a Wii one year. There. Look. Okay, stretches, very important. Look. Look, you like to rip stuff up. Put it in your mouth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, you love ripping up paper. Chew it up. You ha Do you know how much wrapping paper you have destroyed in your life? <laughs> oh, okay, I will help you open it. Look, I will help you open it. Look, Lily. I'll get her to open it. I think it's a cracker. Oh, oh, it's a cracker. Oh, yep, lick licks. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, kill it. 
Kill it! You're so bad at destroying things look, when I want you to destroy them. Look what he did! Ow, my you head butted me. She, those ears, when she slaps you with those ears, it freaking hurts. She's like, no mother, I will not. <laughs> oh my god, you're so dramatic. So let's see what's in here. Pull that off. So, oh, duck, potato. Oh, sweet potato and duck, that's like their favorite. Are you tangled? Maybe you should quit climbing up there. Oh, so sad. You know you're a strong girl? You could just easily break that stick that you're stuck on. I want to wear this dress today. Uh, we'll see, it might not work out. But the sleeves are way too tight, so what I'm doing is just taking out the seam down to about here, like three inches. Uh, I, well, what are you doing? Okay. I'll need to rehem it, but I might not do that today. I might just fold it over today. I've just loosened up this seam. Um, and I will sew it eventually, but right now we'll just fold it over because I don't have time to fold it. I mean, I don't have time to sew it before we go to town. We bought this dress at a thrift store in, I think New Mexico. Yeah, I think New Mexico. I think it was in Los Alamos maybe. Yeah, might have been Los Alamos. Because I think we were looking for something for the van. Well, also, um, when I'm doing the tailoring, I'll add like a pleat here since the neck is too wide. And I'll add a couple darts in the back because because the back is too wide. But again, we're not going to do that before we go to town. Mom's dream has come true. She's found a scorpion. I've been wanting to see a scorpion and we haven't seen any creatures at all. We just see footprints. Oh, it's the light is bad here. Let's see if I can get it from over here. Well, it's really pale. It matches the... I, I pictured them being red, not yellow. No. It's huge though. I thought they were little. Yeah, Lily's been digging around over here with her rock. We actually didn't think there were any scorpions over here because we haven't seen any animals, like any animals at all. So I've confiscated the rock. Um, yeah, it's huge. It's like, um, Mr. Scorpion, goodbye. Yeah, I'm happy we got to see one. Yeah, mom's been wanting to see a scorpion the whole time we've been here. I really didn't think there were any out here. Lily found you a scorpion. I'll have to read up on those because I don't know what take happens. A picture of it too. Yeah, I'll take a picture. I don't know what happens if you get stung by them, and I need to know in case Lily decides to play with one. Kayla's drawing a scorpion postcard for our postcard club on Patreon. This is the first cool thing we've seen in this desert. This yeah. has been very boring. Yeah, we haven't had much to draw in this place that we're staying at right now. It could be there's one variety that's deadly to people and dogs. It could be that one. It looks like that one, but it also looks like two other ones that aren't deadly. They're just, I mean, it hurt if you get stung. So we can't let the dogs play over there anymore. They're going to have to be on the little chain where they're not in. I'm thinking it came from the trees, if it's the poisonous one, because that's a bark scorpion. Um, so I'm thinking it came from there. So they're going to have to be on the little chain where they're right over by the car and just to be on the safe side. All right, it is time to go to town. We're gonna go to Starbucks first because we're leaving super early. So Starbucks <laughs> is the only place open. Um, Lily and Babu are in the back, obviously. <laughs> because despite how Lily acts, we don't leave them in the campsite by themselves. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'll find a scorpion. Because they'll find it's a Christmas scorpion. Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Mom <laughs> finally got her freaking scorpion. Uh, it might be the most poisonous scorpion variety uh, in the US but it's still a scorpion. <laughs> it's also a Christmas miracle that Lily didn't get stung, so we're gonna monitor her and make sure she doesn't pass out or something, because who knows? <coughs> Babu, you don't even know what you're barking at. <coughs> Babu, shut your yap. up. You're not scary. <coughs> Lily, you don't even know what Babu is barking at. She's senile. I filled some water bottles. We had three that were empty. Babu, why'd you get back on that bed? You know you're gonna throw a temper tantrum when we start driving again. Uh, and now I'm sitting with the doggies to wait for mother to get a couple things in the grocery store. Um, cause we need paper towels and some other stuff. Mother is going into the post office to see if we have any presents. We just went and checked the mail and her present wasn't there, but I got a card. <coughs> Lilith, look at me. There's a dog outside. I got a card from my friend Rhonda with $50 gift girl. card in it. And I also forgot to say I got $50 from my sister for Christmas uh, in a card like a week ago or so. Stop. Uh, we are headed to Starbucks now to upload some videos and then we're going to go find some food. 
we're at Starbucks and if you notice a decline in video quality it's because our camera just died and so now we've got to use our phone until we buy a new camera yeah. um, but we're uploading stuff and there are a ton of people working here today but the Starbucks is actually empty so it, we thought it'd be really packed today I've come out to sit with the doggies because I don't like leaving them out here by themselves even with the air running so we're just gonna sit in here and wait for mom to do the rest of the stuff she needs to do on the computer we have scheduled two videos and um, we're uploading photos to our website so that we can add them to our posts because there's not enough internet access in the desert for us to upload them there <laughs> so we finished all our stuff and it's only like eight o'clock in the morning um, so Sizzler isn't open until 11, so there's a place called Steak and Cakes that's, uh, got breakfast, so we're gonna get Christmas breakfast, um, and Kayla is getting pancakes, a short stack of pancakes, and I am getting steak and eggs with rye bread. Here's the Steak and Cake building. Well, I didn't film inside because, uh, once I, the second I walked in, they like pounced on me with my stuff and they had it ready. But it basically just looked like a little diner. It, got it. It was, it was packed though. It's one of the only things open right now. What you doing, Lily? Are you begging? Are you breathing down my neck because I have food? Just because you're not looking at me doesn't mean you're not begging. <laughs> Goodbye. Here's our food. They gave us like four to-go containers. I didn't know it came with hash browns and everything. Look, at this is the bees at our campsite. They're at the garbage. There's not even anything in the garbage. I think the garbage bags are scented and I think they like the scent of it. I want to get out of bed, but I can't because Babu is laying on my leg. She looks super uncomfortable though. She has her, um... Butt up in the air. Yeah, like she's got like her butt up in the air and her head is like a good three inches lower than the rest of her body. <laughs> We're gonna make the cheesecake. It takes one and a half cups of milk, so actually I'm gonna measure milk out first. I got one strawberry milk too because it's gonna be a strawberry pie. It's setting, so we should be in luck. Kayla's opening another present. Yeah, this one's for my grandma as well. Most of the presents. Yeah, all these are from my mom. And this one I was curious about. Dinosaur toys. Oh, so this is actually for Lily. This isn't for me. Because eh. Lily loves to play with dinosaurs. Babu, I swear to God. Babu, get away from the bees. Show Babu. Mom's going to open this one that Lily opened halfway to see what else is in there. Maybe it's more candy. Ooh, cherry blossom lotion. Oh, and shampoo. Yay, we need another shampoo for when, when we shower at Planet Fitness. We're in two separate stalls. It's yes. not like when we go to the... Um, Flying the truck stop. Uh, so we need two shampoos, and we only had one because we left them at the shower. The she last likes time. cherry blossoms. Uh, cherry blossoms, my favorite. Sit, 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 sit. We're sit. gonna see which dinosaur she chooses if they all go on the floor. She at home has a toy box that she opens and gets stuff out of. Which dinosaur do you want? Which one? Pick a toy. She's like, She's like there's too many. Oh, oh. There's Triceratops. I know you know how to carry it. Can you carry it away? I get the feeling you like the Triceratops. Do not bury them, please. Do you want me to hand it to you? Okay, goodbye, Lily. She's well, not gonna I'm, hold I'm it not gonna you. hold it while you chew on it. Take it with you. <laughs> She's like, no. Not unless you hold it for me. Lily. Take the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, fine then. Now you're gonna have a dinosaur pile on the ground. Excavate your dinos. Mom made bean with bacon soup for Christmas Eve dinner because that's what we always had when we were kids. Bean with bacon soup and clam chowder, but I don't like clam chowder, so I ate bean with bacon. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the morning, but I am getting Kayla still asleep. Um, I'm getting her stocking. It's out here in a tub. 
This is her stocking, so I'm putting it in the car for when she wakes up. Okay, Kayla's opening her stocking. I know pretty much what's in here because I was there when we bought most of it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah we sh we've basically shopped together, so she's already seen it all. <laughs> I got chili mango. I used to dip my mango, my dried mangoes in chamoy, so those should be pretty good. I've got baby Yoda bandanas because I like to tie my hair up in a bandana, but I only have one bandana and I can't find it. And she had a bracelet that was supposed to be in her stocking that we never got in the mail because I somehow put a wrong address on it. So we've got to email them. But Yeah, so we got to figure that out. Uh, this this one, is a passport holder. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, this is the only one I don't know what it is. because this one Yeah, it's an Animal Crossing passport holder because we just went to get our passports. So they should be ready in a couple months. That's but. That's pretty cute. And it said it had a place for the vaccine card too. Oh yeah, that's probably what this is. Yeah. Because the booklet would go here yeah. and the card would go here. That's cute. I was going to get you a passport card. We'll get it soon. Oh yes, our favorite candy Toffafe. <laughs> Toffafe. Oh, I didn't see this one. Caramel. Yeah, I, I snuck that in when you were like yeah. looking at something else one day. I did not see the caramel. We got these. Because um, these were my dad's favorite, the kind with the liquid center, not the cream center. So we got those at the Dollar Tree, yeah, actually. So, don't, so don't see those a lot. You usually see the the cream center. A, oh, a hot chocolate ball. Hot chocolate bomb. Maybe that's what I'll have to get. We'll see. And then, oh yeah, I put these in there. Pulper and oh. dots. Pulper and dots. For, I bought them a long time ago and I put the extras in my stocking. And then also some almond, almond roca because our stockings always have to have almond roca and random walnuts in it but we <laughs> don't have a nutcracker so we didn't do walnuts this is how thrilled lily is that it's christmas it's christmas lily it's christmas yay just her eyeballs are moving <laughs> do you have a dinosaur she was chewing on it but I started filming, so that means she has to quit. So I'm in her presence now. I'll do these two for my mom. There's uh, earrings. They're little, see if it'll show up. Little emerald earrings. Um, I, I have two holes in my ears, but I haven't had earrings in in like a year, so I wanted earrings to put in them. So I'll have to get another pair to put on the top hole. And then this one I'm guessing is like lotion or body gel or something. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. I know what it is. Oh, it's. Is it the Holly it's, Jolly? It's oh, it's the, the mistletoe. mistletoe one. I was like, the Holly it's Jolly the is the one I like. philosophy shampoo. This is the kind of shampoo I use. That's a good bottle so size. I'm, yeah, I'm happy we got this. We've never seen that size of bottle. We've only seen the travel size and the big one. Oh, it smells good. This is cool. I'm so happy we got this. This is my favorite. And we got socks. Yep, socks to wear. I'll wear mine at bedtime. She'll probably put hers on in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I always have socks on. Even, she gets them so sandy, it's gross. <laughs> I, I walk around with them in the sand and then I have to shake them out outside and put them in the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so, <gross. laughs> so this is my present from grandma. Um, I had other presents, but Lily opened them for me. So that's why this is the only one I have left. Um, I think it's hand sanitizer. I think it's too big to be hand sanitizer because normally I get hand sanitizer because I- She's obsessed hand with hand sanitizer. I always have been since I was like six. Yeah, like, like, like that's not a COVID thing. No, that's that's literally like, since she was a kid, COVID she's hit, been I obsessed so with much hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, when COVID hit, I had so much hand sanitizer and like everybody was like, can I borrow one? And I was like, yes, everybody can have hand sanitizer. So it's either hand sanitizer, like a, just a big bottle or I'm thinking lotion maybe. I'm betting it's probably from Bath and Body Works because mom got something from Bath and Body Works. Oh, it looks like a lotion. Oh, hemp's. Oh, oh it's their favorite kind, hemp's. <laughs> yeah, it's like the little pineapple one. The pineapple one, so I ended up getting the citrine which smells like peaches. Yeah, but the pineapple one was the one I wanted, like, other than that one. So now I have both of the ones I wanted. Oh, cool. We both got little trial sizes so of those. I'm I didn't so even know happy. they made those. Yeah, I didn't. That's so cute. I love that. That makes me happy. So mother is looking at the boots I bought her. She knows okay. I bought her boots, but she hasn't looked at them yet. Okay, so I'm opening the present. Woo! Open it. Uggs. Yeah, they're the, um, Bailey Uggs. They're the ones yeah. that she used to have a knockoff pair of these. I'm a Uggs person, um, but the Uggs I had, I don't know if when I gained weight my feet swelled, but the Uggs I had wouldn't fit anymore. Um, so I got rid of those and then I just bought like generic knockoffs and I went through 
in like three months the soles was falling off yeah. and uh every knockoff uggs i've ever bought like is just crap so yes. stick to real uggs yeah they're totally worth it like it's real leather and you can get them resold and all this other stuff so they're totally it's always worth it to buy real leather shoes and they fit yay yeah i bought a seven and a half so when the um, wool wears down inside, you can start wearing socks with them. And they fit! <laughs> I know, I knew you would like those, because she literally had the knockoff pair of those. Lilith is eating all the lead paint she can get. Her, her dinosaur looks so nasty now, like the white plastic underneath, so gross. <laughs> and Mother is opening her stocking. I didn't get her very many presents, because it was too hard to order things online with our service. And she said just not to waste the money, so... Oh. I didn't order really anything, um, but I might still order some of that stuff because we need it. So we got white chocolate matcha almonds. Because she loves matcha. I love matcha. matcha. Like and I, she loves almonds, even though they're bad well, for I the like, environment. I don't ma like matcha tea, like just tea, that but I mean. like matcha lattes. So I got chocolate covered cherries. You're such a biatch. Pulperin dots. She These loves are the my pulperin favorite. Dots. Yeah, she loves them. <laughs> and almond roca. And this I've been waiting for. She told me she bought it. It's um, chamoy to, to dip apples in. So we'll cut so. some apples up today. Yeah. She loves chamoy. <laughs> I used to buy it, like, I would buy a box of it on e on Etsy once a month and um, put it in the pantry so that she could have chamoy and apples. It's a giant one that's, like, two stuck together. Yep. Yeah, it's two of them in there. Okay, Kayla's putting the topping on the pie. And this is <laughs> this is what we're eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. Yep, <laughs> it's not going to last much longer. Because it'll probably be good until tomorrow. Because um, we do still have some ice in the cooler and it gets cold at night. But uh, tomorrow is the final day of it. Because we don't have anything like to keep it in. And there's the finished pie. We'll cut it up in a minute and we'll eat it. We already know what it's going to taste like because we've had this pie a million times. So we don't need to do a taste test. Are you suntan in your belly? You getting a suntan? Oh, here's Lily. Hi. Was I talking to Babu? I know that's illegal. I know it's illegal to talk to Babu and not you. Oh. You're a very laid back Christmas girl. I think her allergies are acting up. Also, she wore herself out yesterday. Did you wear yourself out yesterday? Yeah, you played with that rock for like four hours. She's like, rock? No, no rocks today. No. Oh. No. She's <laughs> teasing you on Christmas? It's so sad. I would give it to you, but you played with it so much yesterday. Are you sore from playing with that toy that I cannot say the name of? Oh, with the R-O-C-K? Oh, the R-O-C-K. Where'd your dinosaur go? I think she's sitting on it. We made hash browns in our cooker for lunch, so we're having actual food, not just pie. And for dinner, we're gonna have rice and um, cream, of mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. Okay, we took our decorations off our Christmas tree. Christmas is over. It was really good. It was really fun. So we're gonna end this vlog now, but I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas no matter what you were doing. And we will see you probably in the new year. <laughs>